Hey guys, so I saw this A to Z bookish survey by Perpetual Page Turner and I saw one book, one review do it and it looked really fun. So I decided to change up the questions and adapt it to an art survey. So there's going to be questions for every letter of the alphabet and I tried to make it so that it would work with a couple different types of people. If you feel that something isn't pertinent to what you like or what you do, go ahead and change it up to whatever you want to talk about. So A is for artist you admire. Some front runners for me were Picasso. Also Matisse Manet, but I think I'm gonna go with Marcel Duchamp. He's kind of out there but funny and also very intellectual and a ton of artists really respected him. He was such an important figure at the time and I love that he was a master chess player. B is for a book that you like. So I made a couple of videos talking about art books already so I wanted to pick something different. So I went with this one, Art and Visual Culture in India. This is the book I actually used when I was studying the art history of contemporary art in India and it's actually kind of hard to find a really good textbook of contemporary art in non-western countries um, so I think this book does a really great job and I wanted to let you know about it. C is for crowd pleaser. What is the story you love to tell all your friends and you'll tell it over and over again? Mine would be Edward Manet's obsession with painting birth Marceau but then she married his brother and then there's the whole thing with his piano teacher and her son Liam and no one knows who the father is and maybe it's Manet's father, maybe it's Manet, we'll never know. Mm -hmm. D is for doodling style. What do you like to doodle when you're in class or you're bored or whatever? I typically just draw some sort of weird shape and then I keep adding around it. E is for expertise, so do you have a specific time period or movement or type of art that you are really passionate about? For me, that would be 20th century modern painting. F is your first memory or early memory of art. I have really distinct memories as a kid going to the Legion of Honor, which is a museum in San Francisco, and I'm pretty sure we had membership there. We went there all the time. It was my dad's favorite museum. G is genre. You could take this as the mediums that you prefer to study or use. So painting, sculpture, installation, new genres. Or you can take it as art historical terms in terms of landscape, still life, portraiture. For me, it would be painting and landscape so landscape painting H is for hidden gem so who is an underrated artist that you want to talk about so for me I want to talk about Matthew Brent he's a photographer working in Los Angeles he does these amazing film photographs he did this whole series called lakes and reservoirs where he took pictures of bodies of water and then he would soak the photograph into the water from the actual lake so I is for an important moment in your life so what made you decide to to take that class or pursue that major or that career or decide to self-learn. So as an art student, one of my first art history classes were modern art and that is when I encountered the works of Henri Matisse and I really loved his paintings. Specifically, I was really interested in his use of colors, windows, and mirrors. It was one of the first times I really studied modern art theory and color theory, so it had a huge impact in the type of art that I was interested in. J is for jaw-dropping moment. What is that moment? that made you go oh my gosh this is amazing this is what I want to do this is what I want to study so for me it would be going to see Monet's paintings at L'Orangerie so it's just these two huge oval rooms of giant water lily murals and the architecture just complemented the paintings it was made specifically for that space and it's always just amazing to be immersed in that kind of atmosphere where you're totally surrounded by art. K is for kitsch, so there's an idea that there is highbrow and lowbrow art, but what is something you love that isn't necessarily highbrow? It's okay to say what you love. For me, I am obsessed with memes. I love Reddit, I think. There's some hilarious memes out there and they're so funny. L is for lusting for. So what is something that's on your wish list or to buy list? So for me, it would be a new camera. So before I learned drawing and painting, I was obsessed with the camera. The camera is my first love. And as a kid, I would carry my camera around and take photographs of everything. And my friend walks up to me and she's like, Karen, you have to come and look at this right now. But I wanted to take my time going through the museum. So I was like, oh, I'm almost there. And then she's like, no, no, you have to come right now. 